Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing absolutely fine. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how I created this cool animation with Warwine Fraction. So, without wasting your time, let's get started. First, we need to change the frame rate. So, press Command D or Control D. Go to Project Setting. Now, change it to 60. Alright. Now, select this Taurus. Ring radius, I'll take 185. Ring segments, 100. Pipe radius, make it 25. And this, I'll make it 25. Okay. Now let's create one more shape, which is cone. Select the cone, go to object, top radius we need 70 centimeters and bottom radius 125 centimeter. Height I take 60, height segment 4 it's okay and rotation segments make it 100. Right. Now go to caps, just enable these two options top and bottom all right now we need one sphere so go here and select this sphere okay segments i take 70 radius is fine okay now the main thing go to mograph and select this war knife fracture and now put this sphere inside wall my fracture okay now select this wall my fracture go to chords and uh, y make it 250 okay just increase the timeline we just quickly animate this whole thing okay now select this cone and go to 180th frame y position rotation this one so add a keyframe add 230th frame make it 360 like this and again add a keyframe so you get this kind of animation okay now select this torus add 180 frame minus 300 and add a keyframe at 260th frame again add one more keyframe and at 230th frame make it minus one foot you can change this value according to you and again also select this one and uh, y like it minus 240 all right just quickly add one camera just make it zero okay go to camera view okay. if you play see nothing is happening because we need to add some simulation tags okay so now select this warner fracture right click and go to simulation tag and add a rigid body Sim similarly select this glow cone um, go to simulation and this time collider body same thing for torus right click 
simulation tag and collider body okay now select this ornai fracture rigid body tag and go to dynamics collision reduce the friction around 50 and increase the bounce to around 40 now if you play see you will get this kind of animation we just need to add more segments in this Borne fracture so select the Borne fracture go to sources select this point generator distribution go down and inside point amount instead of 20 let's make it 70 now go back to frame 0 and let's play once nice so if your object is not going down you simply just reduce the friction and increase the bounce let's see how it works now back from zero like this or what you can do is select this Warner fracture and you can randomize this uh, pieces also so for that you just need to change this seed so right now it's 1 2 3 4 5 you can just simply change any number you want Now quickly move to the texture part. Yeah. Okay. So we need one plane also, just to just for background. Make it Z. Just bring that plane a bit back. Okay. And just scale it just to feel this entire screen like this okay we need one sky object add material now uncheck this too and check luminance I take this as DRI Click, click on open no and just add some value to it all right now quickly create one gold material so go to color and choose some nice yellowish color go to reflectance remove it and add backman go to layer funnel select conductor inside the preset select gold reduce the roughness okay one more material we need to, for outside texture so a bit white okay to reflectance remove and add batman set layer funnel this time choose dielectric and inside preset select this peat option okay again remove the roughness all right now select this Warnai fracture and go to selections and check these two options inside faces and outside faces all right so just add this two materials to Warnai fracture like this and now see this one is inside faces okay so we need gold color inside 
so select this triangle and put this in selection tab this one like this just drag and drop okay now select the white material and just click on the uh, select this outside faces triangle and just drag and drop inside the selection box like this okay now we need this gold for the cone also so just drag and drop also give this hdri material to sky object need one more material for this torus we need to make it like a glass look so double click on it and check this transparency option like this alright now go to settings intelligent make it best turn on ambient occlusion also Just hit a render. Let's see. All right. Let's play this animation once. I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe HP Tales and don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you.